Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here at NAB with James Knight from AMD. Hi, yeah. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Sure. Wouldn't be an, M an NAB without you, I think. Well, that's jolly kind of you to say. Well, it's jolly true. We've been we've been friends now for about 16 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You've had quite the influence on post production, the, the galvanizing Randy Altman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are very nice, yeah. James. You are very nice. <laughs> But um, so let, let's jump into technology. Yeah. What are you guys showing? What kind of workflows are you showing at the booth? Also, what's what's new from AMD? Oh yeah, well that's a good question. So AMD for the for um, this year, we're we're showing glass to glass. So so the minute it leaves it it leaves the camera, actually even before that. So previs right the way to when it it, it hits screens, whether it be at home or movie theaters. Uh, for this year, we're, we're, one of the biggest new things we're showcasing is um, CDN capabilities, content delivery networks. You know, our, our capabilities of, of of why people are switching to to AMD and using our CPUs and FPGAs for, for content delivery because the, okay. the throughput compared to what they're used to is quite gargantuan when com when compared to, to 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 what they had previously. So, so we're showcasing that with a couple of different uh, applications. Um, rendering, of course. So V-Ray, we came out with in November. We released 96 core CPUs, which kind of is insane to sure. even think about. Um, so generation over generation, we were at 64. Now we're at 96. So of course, rendering scales linearly. So we had um, up until November, we had the top. 10 or 11 spots and being conservative on Chaos Group's uh, V-Ray benchmark world record uh, chart. And uh, I believe the top spot uh, by one of our CPUs was 104,000 in November. Well, we were public with the release of Genoa CPUs, the fourth generation Epic, and we more than doubled it. It was something ridiculous like 211,000. So V-Ray had never seen that, that much of a jump in, in CPU performance. Um, so we're showcasing that. We're actually, um, it's actually uh, we're doing some things this evening with V-Ray, uh, with the Chaos Group and, uh, and Supermicro. Um, and then Threadripper continues to be continues to be a thing. You know, it's a little sure. bit of a, a cool club movement in compute. I feel like I genuinely feel like says the guy from AMD. We're, we're making CPU exciting, which is weird to say. A, a, a bloody CPU is exciting, but it is. When we turn up at visual effects houses and post production facilities, they they sort of want to know what we look like. Like the AMD guys are here. Well, what do they look like? You know, it's, we're human beings. I think, I think that's the part that coming back from the pandemic for a second time now, being another NAB and being at these broadcast conventions, is we've forgotten the 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 technology isn't just a physical thing. The biggest part of technology is this: yeah. it's sharing ideas, it's conversation, it's socializing with your peers, and sharing how you can do things faster. And, it's one of the things I love about NAB, but yeah. So we're we're we're, we're you know we're we're legitimately sort of pushing the envelope, if you will. And Threadripper, who different um, Lenovo. So who's who's offering Threadripper? So Threadripper, um, we have uh, Lenovo P620. They were the first OEM to have Threadripper, yep. um, uh, and and we we now have uh, uh, Dell have uh, Threadripper systems, and Supermicro have Threadripper systems as well. Um, it's, it continues to be quite the. Uh, quite, I used to I used to distinguish it uh, cheekily as the. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever saw a commercial where an Audi R8. Uh, it looks like it's going through pain, and it turns out it's it's giving birth to an S3, an Audi S3, yeah. and and I likened Threadripper to uh, back then some crazy piece of compute that maybe wasn't for everybody but it was for professional creators that were really really pushing the envelope and it and it's become kind of a cost of a hell of a lot less than an Audi R8 I'll say that um, but it but it it's it's become quite a little um, a little cool club a little sort of a rebellious uh, CPU that, that's making things happen um, that, that couldn't happen before and it, it, it really was sort of how we got noticed uh, by the by uh, the the content creation professional crowd uh, years ago, and it, it sort of 
continues to be in a way the, the tip of the spear. That and um, Ryzen. Ryzen, our Ryzen CPUs are, are being used for all the top end um, uh, motion capture houses because of the higher frame rate. So you could get more higher frame rate, capture more characters uh, using Ryzen. So it, it is it, and it, it's not boring, I'll say that. It's not a boring time. James, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.